All right, Christina Fuller, the uh, give us your title. I know, are you the Grand Poobah of the Waterfront Blues Festival? <laughs> Depends on the day. Festival director of the Waterfront Blues Festival. I can't believe it's been almost a year since we last chatted. I know. Time flies when when we're having fun, and it feels like summertime is real near, especially with this forecast we've got going on in Portland right now. Yeah, it does. And speaking of fun, I was at, I think, all three days. I know it was at all three days of the festival last year. So much fun. And I guess the goal is to try to top yourselves every year. How on earth do you do that? We keep on hustling. <laughs> we're expanding what we do, and we love the challenge of making it better and bigger every year. So what can we expect this year? What's What's new? For 2024. Four, four days of fun. Once again, we're back at the waterfront. And I think what we're really excited about and folks will see and hear is really broad genre representation. When we we're looking at our lineup, we've got Americana. Of course, we've got blues, funk, soul, R&B, all of the stuff that we love and that kink listeners love as well. So we are kicking it off on July 4th. We're going to fill up Waterfront Park. We'll have fireworks and then we'll roll through the weekend. And one of my favorite parts is the food, because what goes better with great music than the food? I know. Craft beer, good local food. That's exactly what we want over the festival weekend. And I think folks will be excited as we're adding some new vendors to the lineup this year. So we're really pumped about the entire experience at the festival, music and more. When do you recommend folks that want to attend the bulk of it? When should folks start buying tickets and passes, four-day passes? Now is a great time. So today we'll actually launch our one-day tickets and our one-day lineup. So when you realize that Ben Harper is playing on Saturday night, you can buy your Saturday Saturday ticket. But we've got four-day passes on sale now. The GA four-day is only $125 for four days. And that is a steal of a deal for oh, international yeah. talent and also the local and regional lineup that we have. 100 acts, four days, four stages. It's pretty epic and amazing value. So now is the best time to buy your tickets. And the Waterfront Blues Festival con contributes a lot of money to very worthy causes, right? Yeah, it's always been a really important part of the festival and the festival's community connection. This year, again, we're partnering with two Blues Fest Cares partners, Meals on Wheels People and the Jeremy Wilson Foundation. Is it too late for someone to sign up to be a volunteer for this year's festival? No, it's perfect timing. Actually, in a couple of weeks, the volunteer registrations will go live. The best way to stay in the loop for that is to sign up to our newsletter. And obviously, an amazing perk of volunteering is free festival ad admission that day as well. And here's some really good news, folks. I have it directly from Christina. She's promising that the temperatures and the weather's going to be like May low 70s, sunshine. <laughs> Mitch, that's your job. I thought you were the weatherman on this gig. Oh, it was hot last year, but that just adds to the fun. That's part that's part exactly. of the experience. Exactly. Christina, thanks so much for chatting with us. Waterfront Blues Festival. It's going to be here before we know it. Can't wait. You are a superstar. Thank you so much for waiting around. I, I'm never late, and I apologize. No, you don't have to apologize at all. I'm so glad. Um, thanks for taking the time and obviously coming to the fest too. And we'll get this on the air. We'll also put it on our socials. And uh, thanks again so much, Christina. I'll talk to you next cool. year, I guess. Sounds good. Holler if you need anything. Thanks, Mitch. Take care. Take care.